I, I have to tell you, that's sort of a big thing. And the networks and most of the news didn't cover it. Can you imagine when Obama came to office, they said, we're going to give him the Nobel Peace Prize. He actually said, what did I do? I didn't do anything. He didn't do anything for eight years, frankly. But he said, what did I do? They gave it to him in a matter of weeks, right? Weeks. And with us, we've done so much. We have done so much on so many different fronts. Remember North Korea? Remember they were going to be at war with North Korea? Where's the war? Where's the war? Where's the war? And we have a good relationship with Kim Jong-un. Who knows what happens? All I know is we're not in war. That's okay. They said, but he gave away so much. I said, I gave away nothing. No, he gave away so much. When I said, what did I give away? You know what they said? Uh, we don't know. I said, here's what I gave away. I gave away nothing. They said, oh, but you agreed to meet. Oh, I see. I agreed to meet. So now they're saying, I agreed to meet. It's such a big deal. Instead of being in a war, I think agreeing to meet is okay, right? Yeah. And we did. He's a different kind of a guy, and he's a Ooh. smart guy, smart, very smart guy. And he's dead. Along. You know, getting along with foreign powers is not a bad thing. We're trying to teach that to the media, these idiots that ran our government for so many years, these fools. These fools. You know, you got nuclear weapons, you got big armies, big navies. He gets along with Putin. That's a terrible thing. Don't talk to him. I get along. That's good. He likes me. I like him. Not so bad. He gets along with Kim Jong Un. That's a terrible thing. No, it's a good thing. I'm trying to convince him. It's okay. It's okay not to go to war. It's really okay. He gets along with President Xi. He gets along with Prime Minister Abe. He gets along with a lot of people. And it's okay, that's a good thing. It's, it's really hard, these stupid people that have been running this operation for 30, 40 years, and they come out against me, and all they did is stick us in these endless wars. We're fighting for sand and blood. Sand and blood. Syria, what do you get out of it? You get sand, you get blood, you get injuries, you get death. These people don't know what the hell they're doing, and it's one of the reasons I got elected. I can tell you that. his foreign policy, and this is said by one of the guys that got us into the war in Iraq, got us into the Middle East. So it's, uh, we're doing a great job, we're doing a great job for you, we're doing a great job for Michigan. Just to finish in the Middle East, we killed the founder and leader of ISIS, al-Baghdadi. And by the way, we're pulling back and we're doing everything so beautifully. If we do get into war, we win the war. We don't fight for nothing. Bam. We fought for nothing. We don't ever want to have war. But if there is a war, nobody's going to even come close to being able to beat us. And we won't be depleted from fighting in all these ridiculous locations all over the globe. You people know that a lot better than the idiots in Washington that have represented us for 35 years. Thank you. We took out the world's number one terrorist and the mass murder of American troops. Qasim Soleimani is dead. We kept America out of new wars and we're bringing our troops back home and they're coming home very rapidly. You see that? Sleepy Joe Biden voted for the Iraq war. He supported the defense sequester that gutted our military, destroyed our military, set us back so many years. I got rid of it immediately. He opposed the mission to take out Osama bin Laden. He was against it. Everything he did, he was wrong on, as said by Gates, you know, Secretary of Defense, Secretary of everything. He was sort of like, he had more jobs than any human being I've ever seen.